we can do our workout with the lid. <laughs> biceps, we're gonna get stunning biceps. Hey everyone, this is Taz and welcome to my channel. So this is going to be an unboxing video. I'm going to unbox Instant Pot Duo Crisp. So here's the box and I'm super excited to unbox this. I've been wanting to have an Instant Pot Duo Crisp for a very long time. Finally, Instant Pot sent me this for review and to try out delicious recipes in it. So guys, I'm going to unbox this. I'll also walk you through the different features on this uh, particular Instant Pot model. Uh, so let's get started. This is a really heavy box. This is eight quart Instant Pot. Uh, looks like they only have uh, eight quarts in the Duo Crisp and Air Fryer. So let me open the box. This is so big and super heavy. So here's the box. So Instant Pot, where is it? So America's number one most loved multi-cooker, Duo Crisp air fryer. And uh, all right, so let me open this one now. To take everything out. Here is the, looks like it's a base. Here is the trivet. Here is the manual. It's another base here. Alright, Here comes the lid, super heavy lid. This one also has the air fryer, so it's very heavy. Look at this one. There's the handle. It also has the instant pot lid. This one. I'm going to take out. I already got two Instant Pots, it's over here. So I got the Instant Pot Duo and the Instant Pot Ultra model. They both are six quads, but this one is eight quads. All right. Here's the pot for air frying. This one has a base. Stainless steel pot. And here is the main pot. So this is how Instant Pot Duo Crisp looks like. Here's the control panel. So it got the pressure cook, saute, slow cook, steam, sous vide. So these four are in all the Instant Pot sous vide. It's a new feature. Um, and then when we use the air fryer feature, this is what we have to use. These are all uh, new features just in this Duo Crisp model. So air fryer, roast, bake, broil, dehydrate, and delay start. It's already there in other Instant Pots. Cancel, start, keep warm. So it looks like in this model, we need to click start. Uh, if you look at Instant Pot Duo model, we don't have to click start. Um, once we um, set the time and um, pressure, it will automatically start. Since this also has air fryer feature, it has the temperature settings. So just like an oven, we can set the temperature and time over here. So here is the inner pot or the stainless steel pot. So this is a large one since this is um, eight quarts. And so here is the main pot. So when we do pressure cooking, saute, slow cook steam, and sous vide, we'll be using this stainless steel pot. And when we do air frying, baking, broil, roast, we have to use this pot. I'm actually reading the manual to find out the names of these new parts. So this is multi-level air fryer basket. So it also has an air fryer basket base. So we can keep this one inside the inner pot or stainless steel pot like so. So whenever we do air frying, we have to keep this inside the stainless steel pot. It, this should not be kept um, here. No, that's a big no. We should not be keeping it like this, always in the inner pot. So keep the stainless steel pot first and then this one. 
So that's how we should keep the air fryer basket. Here is the broil dehydrating tray so we can keep this inside the air fryer. And then we can keep our food on top of this. Here is the lid for the instant pot. So when we do pressure cook saute, slow cook steam sous vide, we should be using this lid. So this is the usual or the regular lid for all instant pots. So this one has the uh, quick steam or pressure release, this one. And uh, so here is the steam release valve. Here is the quick pressure release. So just press it down and the steam or the pressure will release from here. And here is the float valve. So let's move on to the exciting air fryer lid. So here is the lid. So it's called air fryer lid. So this is the handle. So on the top part, here is the air uh, vent and here is the air intake. So on the back side, here are the heating elements and then um, the element cover. So this is well protected. Um, so what else we have? So here's the sensor connector. So I'm going to place this over here. So the sensor connector, this should go here. So that's how we close the air fryer lid and the fins will go in here. Like so, perfect. So that's how we close the air fryer lid. It's pretty easy. We have to align the fins into these. So the sensor will automatically go into this one. Here is the condensation collector. So it looks like it's already kept in. Uh, sometimes um, it won't be kept here. So what you have to do is just, uh, you know, push it uh, in here. And so it will collect uh, any moisture or any condensation will be collected here. So here is the protective pad for air fryer lid. This is pretty cool. So we just have to place the air fryer lid like so. So we should not keep this on the countertop or any other surface because um, there are heating elements and everything. So this is pretty cool. And after we do air frying, this will be really hot. So this is a cool one. It's a protective pad. So the trim act is a bit different with this model. So with other Instant Pot models, we'll get this trivet. So this is a very simple trivet. We can, we can only like keep it like this. So we can place the uh, any pot or cake pan over, uh, over the trivet like so. So with Instant Pot Duo Crisp, here is the trivet. So either we can place it like this or like so. You know, so it's like a multi-rack. This is so cool. Finally, here is the power cord. So it's already connected to the main pot. So I just plugged this in to the power. So here's how the control panel looks like. So we can select uh, pressure cook, um, saute, then slow cook, steam, sous vide. I'm truly excited to try sous vide. And then air fryer. Okay, so there is no lid, so that's why it's showing the uh, lid on the display. And air fryer, after we um, place the lid, we have to set the temperature time, roast. So for all these um, feature, we have to have the air fryer lid. So we don't have the lid, so that's why it's beeping. And then cancel keep warm so it also has the keep warm feature so this does not have the yogurt feature but most of the time i use pressure cook and saute setting i i have never used slow cook um, steam as well it's the same as pressure cook um, sous vide is something new and obviously all these um, air frying functions and then close it with the air fryer lid like so so it's aligned here so and it's plugged in so the electricity will be coming to here through that sensor and um, so click on air fry so it will show the uh, time and temperature so now it's at uh, by default it's at 400 fahrenheit so we can uh, decrease or increase it does uh, no it's that's the maximum 400 then it goes 180 
and then temperature we can reduce or increase temperature and then we have to click start that's when uh, the air fryer uh, function will start then we can cancel keep warm and there's also delay start i would say this is three in one we got the instant pot we got the air fryer and also we can do our workout with the lid <laughs> biceps we're gonna get stunning biceps next i'm gonna show you guys how to air fry chicken wings in the instant pot duo crisp so first i'm going to pressure cook the chicken wings so adding one cup water to the stainless steel pot so next i'm going to place the air fryer basket with the stand into the stainless steel pot or the inner pot let's add the chicken wings to the air fryer basket there are around 20 chicken wings so pat dry the chicken wings and add that so we don't have to grease the air fryer basket i prefer pressure cooking the chicken wings first before air frying it so that way it wouldn't take too long to air fry uh, if you don't want to pressure cook you can directly air fry the chicken wings uh, so layer the chicken wings on the air fryer basket. So next I'm going to add some seasonings um, Any kind of seasonings or spices you can add uh, paprika around one teaspoon Half teaspoon garlic powder. So half to one teaspoon you can add Half teaspoon ground black pepper and half teaspoon salt so don't add a lot of uh, salt after air frying the chicken wings will tossing the chicken wings in a sauce so the sauce will have um, salt in it so give everything a good mix since we are pressure cooking the chicken wings we have to close the pot with the instant pot lid so do not close with the air fryer lid close the lid tightly so in this model we don't have to move the steam release valve to a ceiling so next let's uh, select pressure cook uh, should be at high pressure and i'm going to pressure cook for just three minutes so set the time to three minutes three to five minutes should be good for chicken wings so we don't want the chicken wings to be overly cooked so that's why i'm only pressure cooking for three minutes and let's click start so now it's on so let it pressure cook for three minutes here is the steam release valve so before pressure cooking i push it down and ensure it's kept tightly three minutes of pressure cooking has completed so now let's do a quick pressure release so click on the steam release button so the pressure has released so let's open the lid so here are the pressure cooked chicken wings so it's not stuck to the bottom of the air fryer basket and it's not overly cooked that's perfect so now let's air fry the chicken wings before air frying we need to discard the water that's in the stainless steel pot so we added water to pressure cook the chicken wings so while air frying we don't need this water in the stainless steel pot so it's very hot um, so remove the air fryer basket so here is the liquid discard this liquid completely as i remove the pot uh, the display is showing pot pot so i just click cancel so after discarding the liquid i place the stainless steel pot without the water and then place the air fryer basket into the stainless steel pot now let's close with the air fryer lid so we just have to uh, keep the lid fins on the handle so the sensor will be automatically aligned We're going to air fry so click air fry and on the display you can see the temperature and the time so these are the default temperature time so by clicking the minus plus button we can increase or reduce the temperature so in this case i'm going to air fry at 400 degrees fahrenheit and the lowest temperature is 180 degrees fahrenheit and the time so i'm going to set the time to 10 minutes so I'm going to first air fry for 10 minutes and after that let's see if more time is required we can increase and click start. After 6 minutes of air frying I'm seeing this message on the display turn food. Halfway through instant pot will show the message turn food. Uh, so after seeing the message um, I'm just opening the air fryer lid and place the lid on the protective pad. 
and I'm going to flip the chicken wings over so we don't have to cancel the air fryer when we open the air fryer lid the cooking or the air frying will pause so just turn it over so that it won't stick to the bottom of the air fryer basket so I'm going to keep the air fryer lid back so as soon as we keep the air fryer lit the air frying will resume so when we remove the lid the air frying will pause so 10 minutes of air frying has completed so I'm going to open the lid and see if the chicken wings have uh, air fried well so it looks like it has not air fried well so I'm going to uh, turn the chicken wings over one more time and making sure it's not sticking to the bottom of the air fryer basket so this has not uh, air fried well even after 10 minutes of air frying at uh, 400 degrees Fahrenheit so I'm going to uh, air fry for 10 more minutes so total it will take 20 to 25 minutes I kept the air fryer lid back click air fry so temperature 400 degrees Fahrenheit we're going to air fry for 10 more minutes click start so after five minutes so now it's like 15 minutes of air frying in total I'm going to flip the chicken wings over so open the lid when you air fry or roast halfway through we have to flip the food over so that uh, it won't stick to the bottom of the air fryer basket I'm just turning the chicken wings over uh, it's not that sticky after I flip the chicken wings over I'm seeing the message turn food uh, since I already turned the uh, chicken wings over I'm not going to uh, do it again so the turn food message will disappear in 10 seconds so it's been 10 minutes so total 20 minutes of air frying has completed so let's open the air fryer lid place it on the protective pad it's super hot even the air fryer basket is so hot so please wear a mitten and use a tongue um, so here is the air fried chicken wings after 20 minutes of air frying at 400 degrees Fahrenheit here is how the chicken wings look like so I want my chicken wings to be a bit more crispier so I'm going to air fry for another five more minutes that means total 25 minutes if you're good with this you can stop air frying so I'm going to again close with the air fryer lid and then air fry for five more minutes I'm just checking so on top of the air fryer lid it's not that hot but the air fryer basket is super super hot so please wear a mitten when you take the air fryer out so after 25 minutes of air frying I'm going to take the chicken wings out of the stainless steel pot so it has turned crispy and golden uh, brown in color So here is the fat or the liquid that oozed out of the chicken wings uh, in the stainless steel pot and here are the air fried chicken wings so I'm going to transfer this uh, to a bowl and next we are going to toss the chicken wings in a sauce immediately pour the sauce over the hot chicken wings so here i have taken store-bought sauce one of my favorite sweet and spicy sauce so you can pour any of your favorite sauces um, honey garlic or barbecue whatever you prefer so toss the chicken wings in the sauce uh, using a tongue let the sauce coat all over the chicken wings i'm also placing some celery so going to enjoy chicken wings with the celery next I'm also going to air fry corn so I'm going to show it to you guys so placing the air fryer basket that I use for air frying the chicken wings into the stainless steel pot so let's place the broil dehydrating tray into the air fryer basket I'm going to keep the corn on the tray so we don't have to keep it in the air fryer basket this is better so next let's close with the air fryer lid and click air fry 400 degrees Fahrenheit first I'm going to air fry for 10 minutes so let's see what happens in 10 minutes click start 
So after six minutes of air frying, I'm going to uh, flip the corn over. So always halfway through flip the food over. So it has not air fried well. And let's continue with the air frying. So after 10 minutes of air frying, let's see how the corn looks like. So it has not air fried well. I don't see you know, a lot of golden uh, brown spots. So I'm going to air fry for another 10 more minutes. So I have to start over, air fry, 400 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 minutes, click start. So after six minutes or five minutes, again, I'm flipping the cone over, seeing some beautiful golden brown spots. So let's close with the air fryer lid, let it continue to cook. So five more minutes remaining. Halfway through, Instant Pot will ask us to turn the food. I have already turned the corn over, so I'm not going to worry about it. So after 10 seconds, it will disappear. So don't have to worry about anything. So let it continue to air fry for five more minutes. All right, so after total 20 minutes of air frying, finally our corn looks good. So it took 20 minutes to air fry the corn. So this is perfect. I took the corn out of the uh, basket and then let's cancel it. So it's off now and keep the air fryer lid on the protective pad. Air fryer basket is super hot. Um, use a mitten. I'm using the tongue and taking it out of the stainless steel pot. Even the stainless steel pot is super hot. Uh, so don't burn your hands. Be very careful. I do have many instant pot recipes, easy breezy, dump and go recipes. So it's truly effortless cooking in the instant pot. So I'll post the recipe link in the description below. Please check that out. I also have the video of unboxing instant pot duo model. If you want to check that out, I'll post the link in the description below. Uh, so guys, uh, enjoy cooking in your instant pot and stay tuned for all the exciting and new easy breezy recipes from me. Until then, happy cooking. Take Take care and bye.